I want to start right away with our big mask. I mean, our, our mask story. I mean, our, our big story about masks, the, the topic that continues to defy the odds by seeming like a mundane issue, but strangely skyrocketing to the most divisive subject in the state to mask or not to mask. According to doctors, it shouldn't be a question. I would like to remind you, though, uh, before we start all this, Oregon saw a record number of cases today, 375 new ones. But that said, tonight, uh, this isn't really about the philosophical debate. We're not going to be talking about the arguments surrounding masks. Instead, we're talking about the actual serious repercussions of Governor Kate Brown's day old mandate that all Oregonians have to wear a mask inside any and all public spaces. She actually said it is a class C misdemeanor now if you don't have one. But as threatening as that sounds, the governor also said that police wouldn't really be enforcing it that way. Instead, the role of law enforcement will be to educate which is why this first story is so ironic and infuriating and caught on camera. I talked to Maggie Vespa about it earlier. Okay, Maggie Vespa joining me now to talk about this story that, as the news loves to say, is sparking outrage. We're hearing apologies now. We have a trooper on paid leave, all after four Oregon State troopers went into a coffee shop and refused to put on masks. Yeah, and, and to be clear, they refused to wear masks at any point when they were in the coffee shop, when they entered, when they ordered, because obviously once you're sitting down and drinking, you can't drink through a mask, and that's when they could, in theory, take them off. But they refused to wear them at any point. And this happened yesterday morning in Corvallis. The Oregonian broke this story this morning, and they say the owners of the shop, Allen's Coffee and Tea, gave them this surveillance video of the whole thing. So at the beginning, you see an Oregon State trooper walk in, no mask, Assistant manager Travis Boss told the Oregonian that he informed the trooper he needed a mask, to which the trooper replied. He says, Governor Brown has no authority to take our civil liberties. We aren't going to wear masks. And then he said, according to that assistant manager, F. Kate Brown. Seconds later, in the video, you see three more state troopers enter, and Boss told the Oregonian they also refused his request to wear masks at any point. He said he was nervous and he filled their drink orders, even though he had turned other patrons away for doing the exact same thing. But the difference was, you know, these guys were in uniform. And again, he was he was kind of scared. So at the end of the video, which lasts about four minutes, you see boss walk to the table of state troopers. He told the Oregonian that his boss, the shop's owners, told him to tell the troopers to leave and that staff had called Corvallis police. He said as the troopers walked out, one of them said, that's Corvallis for you. So we should note, we sent a photographer to Corvallis to try and talk to staff at Allen's Coffee and Tea, and we were told they didn't want to do any more interviews. And then we were sent to their corporate headquarters. We haven't gotten a response from them. I also talked to a barista on the phone, and she said, Dan, the attention from the whole thing had been overwhelming, which is under understandable. Yeah, I bet. Absolutely. You know, and for me, let's talk about the timing of all of this. I mean, first, the big picture timing of everything that's going on in the country, the scrutiny uh, that law enforcement is under right now, and, and the, the, the questioning of the character of the people behind the badge for this to go on. And then even more specifically, the masks. When this happened, it was day one of the statewide mask mandate, day one. Yeah, there are so many layers here. And, you know, to point out even more so, this happened around 8.30 yesterday morning in Corvallis. Yesterday, again, day one of Oregon's statewide mask mandate. And at 11 a.m., just a couple of hours later, Governor Kate Brown, not knowing that this had happened, held a press conference about the mandate and said this to the cameras. And today, Oregon, you have a choice, a choice that only you can make. What happens next is up to you. It's up to each of us. So in that press conference, Governor Brown also announced this PSA, which we got a copy of today. It's by the ad agency, White Kennedy, and it's called A Mask is Just a Mask, saying that it shouldn't be something that divides us. And then it ends by saying this 4th of July, don't accidentally kill someone. So Governor Kate Brown yesterday was feeling pretty positive, it seemed, about this mandate and pretty gung-ho about getting the word out to everybody. And again, at this point, this incident in Corvallis had already happened and she just, she didn't know it yet, basically. Oh, she knows now. I'm sure she's seen the video. What, what does she have to say after watching what happened? Yeah, the Oregonian story definitely blew up about this. And Governor Brown sent us a statement. It's basically not nearly as positive. In her statement, she wrote, quote, it is inexcusable that a few Oregon state troopers disregarded my face covering work requirement yesterday and ignored a request 
from a fellow Oregonian to follow the rule. The governor also called the actions absolutely unacceptable, adding the Oregon State Police superintendent agrees with her, and he also sent us a statement. It reads, this conduct is embarrassing and indefensible, especially in the wake, and Dan, you mentioned this, in the wake of thousands of Oregonians taking to the streets each day to rightfully demand police accountability. He went on to say, like any police misconduct, the actions of a few bring discredit to the scores of dedicated officers that do not believe they are above the law they are sworn to uphold. So a spokesperson for Oregon State Police told us that first trooper who had a couple of things to say and then placed that first order is on paid administrative leave. The other three at this point are not, but we're told the entire incident is under investigation. But I mean, Dan, at the same time, we've been talking about this. This just kind of really highlights the awkward position that a lot of business owners are in right now, that they're kind of having to enforce this mask mandate. And as I said, the staff at that coffee shop told the Oregonian they had turned away other patrons for doing the exact same thing. But then here come a few state troopers who don't want to comply with the mask mandate. And that's when that assistant manager said he felt nervous and they were really between a rock and a hard place. Absolutely. You take that awkward situation and times it by 10 when the person you're talking to is wearing a badge. Maggie, thank you so much.